A role in a Hollywood movie about drugs and violence at spring break, and it was a movie shot right here at our beaches. But police say it was no act, and tonight, Russell Curry got caught up in a drug sweep. Our Chris Trankman is live outside the Pinellas County Jail tonight with the details. Chris? Well, the rapper Dangerous was best known for his song called The Fork, which was about mixing cocaine products. Well, now Pinellas Park Police hope that any future songs are written behind bars. Want to have some fun? Movie actor James Franco gave credit to Dangerous as the inspiration for his character in the film Spring Breakers. But Pinellas Park Police say Dangerous, whose real name is Russell Curry, is hardly a real-life inspiration as an alleged low-level drug dealer. This was the life that he was living, and, and you know, true to his word, this, it ended with his arrest. Curry appeared in a bit part behind Franco in one scene of Spring Breakers, but now the 27-year-old rapper from South St. Pete is accused of dealing marijuana out of a unit at the Lauren Manor Apartments. Police say Curry wasn't shy about showing himself preparing drugs for sale. And we found a video of him on YouTube. In that video, Lauren Manor Apartments was the theme. That's where they were. That's where they were, you know, producing their video at. Called Operation Eviction, police swept through the complex, also arresting 28-year-old Corey Devonshire, who was on federal probation for gun trafficking, and 42-year-old Jimmy Jones for drug dealing. While the rapper tries to glamorize his lifestyle through his videos and pictures with movie stars like Franco and Selena Gomez, detectives say in reality, he was nothing more than another contributor to a neighborhood's decline. I think tonight it's a, it's a breath of fresh air. Uh, the individuals responsible for uh, causing havoc in their community uh, are now in jail. Now, Curry is charged with multiple counts of drug dealing and possession of marijuana. He is held here on $20,000 bail. We're live at the Pinellas County Jail. Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.